all right. Uh, so, uh, there's definitely some problems down here. Um, I looked at the schematic and it says you should be getting uh, zero volts at this node here or 0.7 volts. So zero volts on receive, 0.7 volts on transmit. So I thought I'd, so I thought I'd check that voltage. And it came down here and it was measuring 13.7 volts. <laughs> Yikes. So something shorted out. And uh, the scary thing is that I found out is it's there with the radio off. So when the power in the front is turned off, that 13.7 volts is there hardwired to your 20 amp power supply. So yeah, be careful about that. Um, if you have anything that's ground, it'll spark on that thing, which did for me. Anyway, so I've pulled the two transistors out. Uh, the transistor on the left there had a diode. There's a, a diode with a capacitor across it, and it le leans over the part and is hooked on with uh, uh, that white uh, heat sink goo. And uh, that's a thermistor. I guess it determines whether these parts get are getting hot or not. And they're not getting hot because they're not getting hot because they're shorted out. They just pass everything through and they don't heat up. So they're not dropping anything, right? And um, so let's uh, take a look at the transistors or over, over here. Let's put them on a tester. I think we can. Can we put these in here? These are kind of fat lead. So I've put some uh, clips on mine. So I'll just hook the transistor up with, uh, with clip leads. For instances, just like this one. All right, let's turn it on. And it says it's a transistor NPN. No, it's some, um, <laughs> it's some um, resistors, 42 ohms. That's interesting. And 12K, hmm. Anyway, it's a dead. That one's a dead. Let's test the other one. I think the 0.5 volts, or yeah, that I was measuring with the voltmeter was, was in circuit. Of course, it's never good to measure things in circuit. You get strange results. And there we go. This time we get uh, 5 ohms across there and 15k across there. So anyway, yeah, it's a dead. It's a dead. All right, so what do you do when you have dead transistors? Well, you buy replacements. Well, guess what? These replacements are hard to find. And guess what? These replacements are expensive to find. Uh, so this is a 2SC1972. 1972s. So um, you can get direct replacements for 50 bucks each. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, I did find one place that had them for nine, nine euros. I'm not sure what that is in dollars, but that sounded reasonable. Unfortunately, they're in um, Ireland, <laughs> so it might take a while to get here. Anyway, so that's what we got going on so far. So we'll be replacing these two transistors. Um, we'll be replacing these two resistors. And we'll be replacing these two resistors. So yeah, a lot going on there. And while I'm in there, I might as well check to make sure the capacitors are okay too. I, I think the capacitors are probably gonna be okay, but I will definitely double check all of those. Now that it's out of circuit, I can measure everything. Um, Anyway, so uh, there'll probably be another big gap in the videos here while I wait for parts, but uh, that's where it stands.